I'm, I feel very peaceful about our situation. He doesn't. Some of the things that he's saying are really, really, really mean. He clearly has a lot of internal that he still needs to work on here. Mary Brown shares emotions on important anniversary. In 2024, Mary Brown seems to have adjusted well to life as a single woman. However, that doesn't mean she never thinks about her ex-husband, Cody Brown. This week, Mary realized they would have recently shared a very special anniversary together if they hadn't ended their marriage. But even so, she's grateful to be where she is today. See what she posted on Instagram. Mary Brown reflects on the past 35 years. Mary Brown hasn't always been popular with Sister Wives viewers, but most agree she never deserved to be treated so terribly by her ex-husband. Now, she's reflecting on an important milestone she would have shared with Cody. It's a road trip day, and when I road trip, I use the time to catch up with friends, Mary shared with her followers, beginning a lengthy Instagram post. I was having a conversation today and we were discussing marriage, divorce, and wisdom we've gained through our experiences. Mid-conversation. I had this realization that today, 35 years ago, I met who would eventually become my ex-husband. The TLC star went on to say how she's very sentimental. Birthdays, anniversaries, and other special days mean a lot to her. When Mary realized she hit the 35-year milestone of meeting Cody, she felt weirded out at first. But then, she realized she was starting the first day of the rest of her life. The past 35 years have been a mixture of high hopes and dashed realities, dreams come true and broken hearts. This is how life rolls, and we can't avoid it. There's no telling what life will throw at us, and only we can determine how we will react to it. She continued. Mary added that over the past week, she's truly begun to break free from the tethers that kept her from moving on. I'm grateful for the experiences. The Sister Wives star concluded the post. I don't regret my life or the twists and turns that have played out. I'm happy with who I am, flaws and all. I'm looking forward to what is yet to come, for it will be freaking amazing, and I'm so here for it. Sister Wives fans rally behind the TLC star. Many of Mary's supporters flooded the comments and shared encouraging words with her. Instagram users wrote, I'm so happy for you, Mary. What a great full circle moment. Love this perspective, Mary. Thank you for sharing this special anniversary with us. You are freaking amazing. Be Flossom, an awesome person with flaws. We all have them. Good for you. You deserve happiness. Some Instagram users shared vulnerable stories of escaping from their own abusive relationships. Many thanked Mary for publicly sharing her story, even the ugliest parts. As Sister Wives season 19 continues, viewers have very strong opinions on Cody Brown's uncouth behavior. Cody and Mary have had plenty of tense conversations since Sister Wives premiered in 2010, but some believe the one from Sunday's episode takes the cake. Did he have ulterior motives for meeting with his first wife? Fans hated Cody Brown's demeanor while talking with Mary. During Sunday night's episode, Cody and Mary sat down for a tense conversation. It didn't seem to be particularly productive. Cody said cruel things to Mary as he typically does, insisting he never loved her. However, fans were incredibly proud of Mary when she finished the conversation by telling Cody it was a shame he never saw what a great person she was overall Fans thought it was an odd encounter and didn't paint Cody Brown in the best light. That unhinged Cody slash Mary conversation, a Sister Wives viewer shared on Reddit. I'm really not trying to be harsh or snarky, but Cody is clearly not mentally well and it's been evident for a while. But I am his erratic conversation with Mary in the latest episode is one of the most blatant displays we've seen of how unhinged he's become. The OP went on to allege that Cody was completely incoherent during the episode. They cited specific instances, including Cody being angry over marrying Mary in the first place, but also being angry about her asking for release from the church. It's just baffling, the OP continued. I do believe he's sincere when he says he regrets how messy his splits with Christine and Janelle were and how those relationships have deteriorated. But it's far too late for him to try to repair anything with Mary. If that was his goal in this conversation, he did a piss-poor job of it. Sister Wives viewers offer their own opinions. 
Other Redditors agreed the conversation was incredibly manipulative. Most insinuated that Cody wasn't interested in talking with Mary. He simply wanted to make himself look good on camera. Reddit users wrote, He only wanted this meetup to save face and get her to admit he didn't abandon her, that it was equal. To me, his mania is simple. He doesn't want Mary, but he needs Mary to want him. He doesn't get how appalling it is to keep repeating that he never loved his wives before Robin. He thinks it helps his case, somehow. The way Mary kept looking at the crew in shock leads me to believe there were even more unhinged comments he was tossing out there. Sister Wives fans suggest Cody Brown no longer strokes Robin Brown's ego, but he's got that covered on his TLC series when it comes to feeding his own. The lifestyle she married into was an ego booster of its own, as she was the youngest of three wives. She was once a new and exciting addition to a plural marriage where the husband lost his spark for his three original wives. But today, she is likely no longer that person for Cody Brown. Sister Wives Cody Brown's original ode to Robin Brown Sister Wives fans see Cody Brown acting differently about Robin Brown since his original three wives bailed on him. Before the women left, he championed Robin every chance he got. Viewers heard Cody talk about all about the sacrifices Robin made. One of the more memorable blurbs regarding this fourth wife was when he suggested Robin got all the table scraps left over from the other wives. He made her sound like a woman who sacrificed a lot for the family. Sister Wives fans saw this as delusional on Cody Brown's part. Still, it was one way to paint his youngest wife as loyal. But his comparisons didn't stop there. Many of the show's fans thought Cody used the word loyalty instead of obedience. He made it clear several times that Robin Brown did what he wanted. This was unlike his other wives, or so he said. Robin surrounded by ego boosters. Robin joined the family as wife number four. She is a decade or so younger than the three wives that Cody was already married to for 20 years. So, he takes on a pretty wife, younger than Mary Brown, Janelle Brown, and Christine Brown. Sister Wives fans saw this as an ego booster for the shared husband, but for Robin Brown too. She was someone new to Cody Brown, and this hot and heavy romance carried on to some degree for their entire marriage. The viewers and the other wives saw this. Robin often denied that Cody Brown spent more time with her than the other three wives, but despite what she said, fans knew differently. Instead, viewers suggested she was more like a woman who thrived on winning a competition. But that's all changed. Cody's tune about youngest wife sours. The sister wives patriarch has only Robin Brown left as a spouse, so there's nothing resembling competition anymore. The other wives washed their hands of him. Cody even dissed Robin when he talked to Mary on the Sister Wives episode last week. He told Mary he usually disregards Robin's opinion. Mary immediately corrected him on that. She seemed stunned because from where she sits, he doesn't disregard anything Robin has to say. His comeback was a stern, oh yes I do. So, it looks like Robin Brown loses out these days. Without the other wives around, she lost that everyday ego boost of being Cody's favorite. After what Cody Brown revealed to Mary, it sounds like Robin suddenly gets the same treatment from the sister wives patriarch that the other wives did. Robin steps into the other wives shoes down the line. Cody Brown was so upset about Mary Brown's charge of abandonment, passed down by the church, as they released her as his wife. He slipped when saying the church would probably not let him take on any more wives because of the abandonment finding. So, for someone not contemplating any more wives, he seems quite upset over this. Sister Wives fans caught this last week and now think he just might rebuild a polygamy marriage. Or, at the very least, he's dreaming about the possibility. But if so, Robin Brown gets to step into the shoes of Mary, Christine, and Janelle. She'll be the wife Cody is now used to having around. So, any new wife down the road would likely bring some hard times for the ego of the last wife standing today. She probably won't be the wife turning her shared husband's head if he reboots his polygamy lifestyle with newbies on the TLC series. Cody and Robin are getting remarried, big wedding to be featured on season 19's last episode. Robin and Cody are the only ones by each other's side in the new Sister Wives season. All other spouses, i.e. Christine, then Janelle, and at last, Mary parted ways with the polygamist.
They had sun for many years how biased the former was to his fourth wife. So, they decided to embrace their choices and happiness by splitting from Cody. Well, it backfired for the former couple. While Cody and Robin were very happy with one another, they had to rely on the other three wives for a lot, finances being one of them. So, their separation has made them quite bitter. Since then, the new season has been about the couple working on their failing marriage. Rumor has it that they may plan a grand wedding for the finale. Is that so? Is Robin jealous of Christine's wedding special? In the Sister Wives season that's currently airing, Robin and Cody are struggling in their marriage. After the family fallout, they have been having trouble keeping their marriage intact. While the former is devastated as everyone left, the latter keeps blaming his wife for it. Apart from this, Christine became the only one among the three to tie the knot again with David Woolley. The wedding special episode of Christine and David has already aired. Rumor has it that the special made Robin quite jealous. Chances are that she and Cody may have hatched a plan of their own to remarry to signify they are working on their marriage. Rumor has it that fans may see the two walk down the aisle again in the finale of the new season. Will they? Sister Wives Cody and Robin Brown planning to remarry for finale. Everyone knows by now how Robin Brown has the tendency to manipulate the truth. Sister Wives fans have caught her in the act many times. For instance, she said that buying a home in Flagstaff wasn't her idea. Yet, she was the one who benefited the most from it. Then, in the new episode, viewers saw her say one more alarming thing. Robin revealed that when she tied the knot with Cody, she didn't want a grand wedding. As usual, she said it wasn't her idea to do so. Well, viewers had a lot to say about this. Many said that Robin may have appeared to not be into the whole thing in front of the cameras, but secretly wanted the wedding. She was lying about it while recalling it. Many suggested that Robin saying her wedding wasn't for her could be an elaborate scheme for her to finally plan her own wedding for the AA Sun finale. She and Cody might renew their vase or accept their monogamous life in the final episodes. But all of these things are merely theories. But knowing Robin and Cody, they might just actually do so. Janelle Brown celebrates exciting anniversary. After an absolutely heartbreaking year, Sister Wives star Janelle Brown has something exciting to celebrate. Losing a child and navigating the aftermath of divorce is certainly difficult, but Janelle will always find something to smile about. Check out her latest Instagram post and see what fans had to say on this special occasion. TLC's Janelle Brown shares excitement over an important milestone. Janelle Brown has had quite a stressful year, but she's also thankful for the positives in her life. Over the past several months, she's gone on many adventures with Christine and their children. But now, she's reflecting on a very special milestone for her firstborn. In October 2022, Logan Brown married Michelle Petty. It was a wonderful day for the family, even though it caused some on-screen drama for Cody and Robin. Happy anniversary, Logan and Michelle. Two years of forever looks good on you guys, red heart. Janelle captioned her Instagram post. She attached a photo of the newlyweds sharing a dance on their special day. Love you, Janelle. Infinitely grateful to have you as my mother-in-law, Michelle wrote back in the comments. Janelle's followers felt excited about the post. Although Logan hasn't appeared on Sister Wives in years, everyone still loves seeing him succeed in his adult life. Instagram users wrote kind comments, including, they have such a beautiful, true love story. It was nice to watch Logan grow up for a while. I love that they want privacy in their own lives. They deserve it face blowing a kiss. He is so handsome. What a beautiful couple. Red heart, beautiful couple. I love the way they are looking at each other. What a lovely photo. I wish you many years of happiness to you too. Logan and Michelle gave Garrison a special job during their wedding. It's been difficult for the family to adjust to life without Garrison. He served as the flower man during Logan and Michelle's wedding, which everyone loved. After hours and hours of asking, I finally said yes. The late TLC star captioned his Instagram post, highlighting the special day. Garrison passed away about a year and a half after the wedding. But without a doubt, the fun memories will hold a special place in his family's hearts forever. 
Religion has been a hot topic on Sister Wives from the beginning, as the family was initially persecuted for their involvement in a splinter of Mormonism that still believes in practicing polygamy now. Decades later, members of the Brown family are reassessing their faith, and some have found refuge in an evangelical church with ultra-conservative views on homosexuality and other topics. Keep scrolling to find out more. Sister Wives Religion when Sister Wives premiered in 2010, the Brown family was taking a risk going public as religious polygamists. The Church of Latter-day Saints originally held polygamy as a central tenet, but the practice was banned in 1890 and is no longer practiced in modern Mormonism. The Apostolic United Brethren are a fundamentalist splinter sect that kept the tradition of polygamy. Until recently, the Browns all belonged to this church and followed out its beliefs of marrying for eternity. While it is clearly a conservative community, it is also a private one and typically doesn't advertise its rituals, locations, or members now. Several members of the Brown family are questioning their faith due to the dissolution of their family and most of Cody Brown's spiritual marriages. While some tried to return to a more modern Mormon church, Robin Brown's family has been participating in a new evangelical Christian ministry that is very vocal about its conservative core values, Urban Hope Church. Redditors have discovered that Soap and Robin's kids are members of Urban Hope Church, a New Age Christian ministry in Flagstaff with views that are not exactly inclusive. For example, their tenets on Christianity go against some members of the Brown family's lifestyles, as posted by user miserable underscore gift underscore 7924. We wonder what Leon and Gwenlyn think of this. Other curious topics in their written doctrine include their specific views on smoking and divorce. Smoking. The Bible commands us not to allow our bodies to become mastered by anything. Smoking is undeniably strongly addictive. Scripture teaches us to care for our bodies. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. Smoking is undoubtedly very bad for your health. Smoking has been proven to damage the lungs and the heart. A Christian may divorce a spouse only when his her partner is repeatedly committing the sin of adultery, Matthew 5, verse 32, 19, colon 9, or if the spouse refuses to live with him, her, and departs, abandonment. 1. Corinthians 7:15. Both exceptions present the believer with an option, but never a mandate. The brown kids are featured in several photos and videos on Instagram from Urban Hope Church, including Aurora and Brianna, who are members of the young adults group. It was more than that. Be honest with yourself. No, I well, it's just I don't even know. But it's like move, move from that point to get to the right place. I have no idea. I'm not gonna go hang out at Christmas. I'm not your wife anymore. I do have a wife who says that Mary is our family and you need to have her come over for Christmas. I normally just disregard her opinion. I don't. Oh, yes, I do. Really? You don't know me if you think that I'm not a man of my own mind. I know you're a man of your own mind. The Brown family's true feelings about Robin Brown's Children Revealed. Sister Wives season 19 premiered recently, and one of the big storylines of the season is about the tenuous relationship between Robin Brown's children and the rest of the Brown family. 45-year-old Robin was the fourth wife of 55-year-old polygamist patriarch Cody Brown. By the time she joined the Brown family, Cody was already married to Mary Brown, Janelle Brown, and Christine Brown, and had 12 children. In 2010, Robin and her three children from her first marriage were added to the Brown family mix. When the Brown family stopped growing, Cody had four wives and 18 children, but the good times didn't last. When Sister Wives season 19 premiered a few weeks ago, Cody's first three wives had walked away from the plural family, leaving Cody and Robin in an unintentionally monogamous marriage. With the family so divided, Robin feels that her children have been left behind by their other siblings. Read on to learn more about how Robin's children felt snubbed by the other Browns. Cody adopted Robin's children from her first marriage in 2014 and even gave them his last name. Though efforts were made to help Aurora, Brianna, and their older brother, 
Dayton Brown bond. Robin's kids never felt truly accepted by Cody's other children. Though they shared the same last name, they weren't the same. Part of the reason they never bonded was because all the other Brown children grew up together, many of them under the same roof. Robin's children entered the picture later, so they didn't share similar experiences. Making matters worse, Cody's other children felt resentful of all the time Cody spent with his new family during a Sister Wives season 19 episode. Aurora and Brianna discussed their strained relationships with other Brown family members. Brianna made the shocking claim that, on more than one occasion, various members of the Brown family told her that they didn't see her as a real sibling. Aurora went on to lament the fact that she didn't think the parents worked hard enough to bring the children together. Point 24 year old Dayton hasn't spoken up yet, so it's unclear what he thinks about the matter. Cody and Robin did end up having two of their own children, 12-year-old Solomon Brown and 8-year-old Ariella Brown. Like Dayton, Aurora and Brianna, Solomon and Ariella have little contact with their Brown siblings. Some of their problems are driven by the generational gap. Some of the oldest of Cody's 18 children are over 30 years old, and some are even married with their own children, so they don't have much in common with their youngest siblings. During a recent episode of Sister Wives, it was revealed that Ariella's extreme separation anxiety as a small child had a major effect on family dynamics. Apparently, Ariella would freak out whenever Cody had to leave to spend time with the rest of the family. Season 19 of Sister Wives continued on Sunday with episode 6. He delivered me from all my fears, and TLC's producers are doing an excellent job in stitching the goings-on of the fractured Brown family into a cohesively themed and linear episodic format. Sister Wives' 19th season has been an absolute roller coaster, and before we get into those episodic themes, we've recapped each. Episode to date if you need a refresher on the massive amount of stuff that has happened so far episode 1 of Sister Wives season 19 sort of established where things stood for everyone, whereas episode 2 focused quite a bit on another common cause of acrimony and divorce, money, communal funds, assets, and the division of such. By episode 3, the more pressing financial and logistical aspects were less a focus than how each person from the main cast, Cody, Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Robin felt about the triple breakup, a theme that carried through to episode 4, How the Mighty Have Fallen. Episode 4 depicted Robin and Cody's snow fight, which was prominently featured in trailers and previews, and it was one of the rare instances in reality TV where a preview is less dramatic than the scene itself. Robin and Cody's snow fight gave viewers a glimpse into Cody's state of mind and spotlighted his tendency to frantically shift blame and episode 6 contained a similar enlightening and emotionally charged scene between an unruffled Mary and a very confused Cody. Taken together, the first six episodes of season 19 are, in a narrative sense, kind of like the stages of a breakup in real life. Episodes 1 and 2 were like the initial shock and scramble to untangle one another's lives. Episodes 3 and 4 were about the short and long-term emotional impact on the people in the relationship, and episodes 5 and 6 dealt with moving on and getting drawn back in. Polygamists, they're just like us. In short, the initial shock of Cody's getting dumped hat trick has worn off. Well, for everyone but Robin, the reality of a post-plural marriage lifestyle is settling in, and each person is handling it in their own way. Recent episodes of Sister Wives depicted the Brown family's first Thanksgiving post-breakup, and He Delivered Me From All My Fears began with a focus on Christmas. At the end of episode 5, Robin appeared in a teary confessional filmed on the bathroom floor on Christmas Eve, and at the start of episode 6, she cried in another confessional and said, It just hit me so hard that I'm just... I just don't get to have the perfect Christmas. Cody pointed out that it was his first Christmas with only one wife, and Robin made the first of many mentions of Mary. For some reason, Robin's held out hope for a reconciliation hinges on Mary, and she said, It wasn't my first Christmas without everybody else, but it was my first Christmas without Mary. Chasing Mary could have been an alternate title for Sister Wives Episode 6. Mary is always just trying to be left alone, and someone is always hunting her down for interactions she doesn't want to have. As is often the case this season, fans got a rundown of who was spending Christmas with whom. Janelle went to Maddie's, Christine was with most of her kids, Aspen and Mitch, 
Tony and Michael T and the babies, Isabel, Truly, and Christine, and Mary hung out with her old friends Lisa and Amber. Mary, aware of Robin's fervent wish for a shared Christmas, said that it will never happen and makes no sense, adding, I'd rather be somewhere that people want me, you know? As much as it's frustrating to see that Mary has been made to feel that way, a feeling church leaders substantiated as they granted her release on the grounds of abandonment, there's almost an irony to it. Two, given what happened later in the episode and Robin's constant hand-wringing over how badly she wants Mary specifically back. Mary, Janelle, and Christine seemed happy amid their respective Christmas celebrations, but Robin struggled, admitting, for my children's sake, I just need to focus on what's good today.